So just to, to start with a few of the top lines, the United States is Australia's most important economic partner, with U.S. trade and investment contrib contributing 6% of Australia's annual economy. We are Australia's largest foreign investor by far, providing much of the capital that has driven the Australian economy over the last three decades. U.S. investment in Australia increased 7% to $1.17 trillion in 2023, and this is 25% of total foreign investment in Australia. Australian investment in the United States is also increasing 12% last year to $1.2 trillion. And this is 31% of Australia's total overseas investment. The United States is Australia's third largest trading partner, and more than 1,000 com American companies lead investment in resources, financial services, aerospace, and knowledge-based industries, employing 320,000 Australians at wages well above the national average, and helping to develop advanced technologies and a highly skilled workforce. We acknowledge that there is no greater challenge facing the world today than the clean energy transformation, and that there's no greater partner for the United States in this space than Australia. The Compact acknowledges that the United States and Australia are faced with a similar set of challenges in addressing the climate crisis, including recovering from increasingly devastating climate impacts, such as storms, wildfires, and droughts. And both of our countries stand to benefit, as I think Minister King um, highlighted quite well, from climate action and developing and rapidly deploying clean energy technologies. The majority of Australians, I used to work on our public opinion polling at the United States Study Centre, and last year we asked um, if, the tr if the Trump was to win a second term, should the Australia withdraw from the alliance? And we kind of asked that as a cheeky question, because what does the mechanics of withdrawing from the alliance look like? Who knows? But 37% of Australians said if Trump was re-elected, that Australia should withdraw from the alliance. And that's, I don't think, insignificant, considering, as Erica said, it's, an, it's a strong alliance. It has a huge amount of connections across trade, across climate. There's massive scope for productivity and growth in the future in that relationship. And yet the public doesn't seem to be persuaded that it doesn't matter who's in the White House, that the relationship will endure. So from a public perspective, I think it's important that we keep petitioning the importance of the relationship in the areas where we do agree and the areas where there are opportunities for growth and some of the cultural difference between Australians and Americans that prevents Australia from being so productive. And I I think uh, an area is self-belief. I think uh, Australia could afford to back itself a little bit more. We have a bit of a cringe around tall poppies, uh, and I think it, and, and a bit of a cultural change around that could probably stimulate productivity.